Is anyone out there? Anybody from one two out there? All right, can you uh, type in your f full name and your index number for attendance? Thank you, please carry on. I'll be starting this lesson in just a while. There were some problems with the previous page, uh, so I hope you understand. So just to prepare you uh, that I'm going to be doing a, a poetry lesson today. Uh, it's not unrelated to uh, the novel Wonder that we've been doing, uh, we've been learning so far. It's uh, related to, uh, definitely uh, very relevant to our novel. Uh, the title of the poem is First Day at School. This poem is uh, composed by Roger McGowan. So if everybody is uh, ready, I'm going to start. Please uh, ask your questions uh, in the chat as you are listening to this and watching this on uh, YouTube. So if you have any questions, uh, uh, don't hesitate to ask. And also I'd like to ask you for maybe feedback uh, about Anything that you see or you hear, maybe the audio is not clear or um, you're losing stream or something like that, just please tell me. So I see uh, 
Deidre, Sherry, Nashua, Angel Angelica, Rachel, Rochelle, Angeline, Clarice, Liang Chuan, Chloe. So if you uh, don't see anybody here, can you please uh, try and help me by uh, contacting them and asking them to go onto this page. I think maybe they're trying to go onto the original page. So uh, that page has uh, got problems uh, streaming. Okay, we're going to start now. Um, so today we're going to look at the poem by uh, Roger McGowan. Uh, it's called First Day at School. Um, I'm going to read it for you first and uh, see where we go from there. The questions on the Google page, right? The Google page, uh, there is no problems with the link. So we're going to look at the questions uh, soon. Okay, so I'm going to uh, study the poem first. First Day at School by Roger McGowan. A million, billion, billion miles from home Waiting for the bell to go To go where? Why are they all so big, are the children? So noisy So much at home they must have been born in uniform Lived all their lives in playgrounds Spent the years inventing games That don't let me in Games that are rough that swallow you up and the railings all around the railings are they to keep out wolves and monsters things that carry off and eat children things you don't take sweets from perhaps they to stop us getting out running away from the lessons lesson what does the lesson look like sounds small and slimy. They keep them in glass rooms. Whole rooms made of glass. Imagine. I wish I could remember my name. Mummy said it would come in useful. Like wellies. When there's puddles. Yellow wellies. I wish she was here. I think my name is sewn on somewhere. Perhaps. The teacher will read it for me. Teacher! The one who makes the tea. Alright, so this is the poem. Um, a million billion, uh, first day at school. And... What you probably want to ask yourself is, uh, the first question is, the subject of the poem, right? So, what is the poem about? Now, I want you to uh, follow me in annotating your poem, right? So you have the poem in front of you. You're going to ask yourselves a few questions. One is the subject, what is it about? Uh, secondly, of course, um, who is the speaker? Okay. Does anybody know? Uh, anybody can uh, give me uh, a guess as to who they think the speaker is? Anybody can uh, give me an answer in the chat? Roger? Oh no, Roger is the poet. He's the one. Yes, Myra, good. Student, right? What kind of student is uh, she? Or he or she, right? We don't know what kind of... Uh, is he a boy or a girl, but we know that he's a student. What kind of student? How old do you think this student is? Okay, so we have some clues, student. Right? How do we know that this is a student? Okay, maybe the clue is obviously first day at school. So school is a very good uh, clue. 
Okay, a newcomer. Why do you say a newcomer? Because it's his first day. Oh, well done, Myra. Very young. Okay, Myra is doing very well. Yeah, how do you know, first of all, that this student is a very young student? You're correct. You're right there. Okay. 12 to 13? I don't think so. He does not know his name. Well done, you run. Okay, if we look at the bottom there, the third stanza, right, he says, I wish I could remember my name. Okay, he's very scared. Okay, where do you get that from? So, he sounds nervous. Well done, yes, he does. Okay, so let's move on. We ask ourselves, what is the poem about? Okay, what is the poem about? Okay. Okay, the speaker is a student, obviously very young student. Let me just rewrite this. He's a very young student. Um, it's obviously his first day at school. Seven. Okay, if when you're seven years old. Right? Can you remember your name already? Yeah? When is the first day that you go to school? You ask yourself. Was it in kindergarten? Well, C, Clara, to answer your question, right? This, um... poem is uh, closely related to the hold on eh? just a moment Okay, so coming back here, I wish I could remember my name. I think uh, this child obviously is very, yeah, you're right. Should be about two to three years old, right? Maybe um, he's nervous. That's why he can't remember his name, okay? Um, which, uh, at the same time, uh, how does it, how does it uh, make us feel, you know, when we see a, a child like that doesn't, uh, not remembering their name? It's, it's actually added there to maybe to make it a bit funny, right? So the effect is, it's kind of funny, but it does show us that uh, he is very, he's very young, right? So this is truly his, okay, first day at school, the first time he's, uh, well, I'm just gonna use, uh, assume that it's a boy because uh, uh, just to make it easy, right? It could be a he or it could be a she, right? Okay, so let's move on. Okay, we'll stop guessing about how old he or she is. Right, so we move on to the poem. What is the poem about? Right, so we know that it's his first day at school, right? But what is he saying? Okay, let's go. A million billion miles from home, waiting for the bell to go. To go where? Now, what does this tell you? Or what does this emphasize about this student? What does this emphasize about the student? I think it emphasizes the fact that this student is very young. So, he doesn't understand this idiom or this uh, expression, waiting for the bell to go, right? All of us know that waiting for the bell to go means waiting for the bell to ring, right? But he thinks, hey, where is the bell going, right? To go where? So, it's kind of, yeah, you're right, He's, it's kind of cute, okay? And when we say cute, we mean adorable, isn't it, right? So someone so young and so clueless. Okay, Clara, can we please focus on the lesson? Right, if you uh, cannot focus on the lesson, I'm going to report you to your teacher. Right, so it seems that he's uh, really, really young, and uh, yes, all of, all of you say it's very cute. Okay, 
and he's asking why are they all so big other children so noisy so much at home they must have been born in uniform right so he's this student okay is oh well done kevin who, who is kevin t i think you're using your father's account right um he seems quite innocent right quite innocent why do we say he's innocent right because of the fact that he's quite clueless okay okay so live their lives in playgrounds spend the years inventing games that don't let me in now does this make any uh can you relate to this have you ever been uh, in a situation where the big girls and the big children don't let you into their games right if you have give me a thumbs up or say yes okay Okay, games that are rough, that swallow you up. So somebody said earlier, if I'm not mistaken, somebody said earlier that he's, uh, he's afraid, right? I think you're right. So this shows, right, games that are rough, that swallow you up. If somebody is afraid, okay, what does it mean that the speaker is? Speaker feels what? Speaker feels afraid or what is a better word to use when you're surrounded by, if you're so small and you're surrounded by big children, right? And then they're playing games that are so rough. Okay, can anybody tell me what this word is? It starts with I, N, and then it ends with D. How do you feel? Anybody can tell me this word? There are a few syllables here. I N is the first syllable. Yes, Myra, very good. Intimidated, right? Intimidated. Let me rewrite that for you. In me data. Okay, right? Okay, let's move on. Let's go on to the second stanza, right? So the first stanza, okay, is the child arriving at school, obviously. Anybody can interpret for me what this means? A million, billion, million miles from home. What does that mean? A million, billion, million miles from home. What does that mean, anybody? A very long time ago? I don't think so. Very far away. Yeah, very far away. Yes. Okay. How do you think he, this child has gone to school? By walking? Maybe by transport, right? Imagine when you were young and you took a, a long ride, okay? Does it seem longer if you're younger, right? Yes, all of you are getting uh, the right answers here. He lives very far away. This school is very far away from home, right? But when he says it's very far away and he says it's a million, billion, million miles, right? Is this true? that it's a million miles away what is the speaker doing what is the speaker doing okay can we try and uh, figure out what this is 
what is the speaker doing? Is it really a million miles away from home? So what is the speaker doing here? When you carry something that is so heavy, what do you see? He's exaggerating. Yes, you're right. He's exaggerating. Well done. Exaggerating. Right? And this, sometimes we call this a hyper... Hyperbole. Okay? Hyperbole. Let me write that again for you. It's a high... Uh, now, what does this do? This makes the poem quite funny, right? Sometimes we use exaggeration to make it funny. Let's move on then, okay? So, and the railings, all around the railings, right? Are they to keep wolves and out... Oh, are they to keep out wolves and monsters, right? What does this show you about the child, okay? How can you describe the child here? He's thinking about wolves and monsters, right? These railings are there to keep out wolves and monsters. Things that carry off and eat children. Things you don't take sweets from, okay? Why is the child suggesting all these things? Why is the speaker suggesting all these things? Okay, can you describe the child? I want to ask you about your impression, not his feelings, but what is your impression of the, the speaker? Imaginary, yes, he has a, he has a um, creative imagination. Yeah, okay. He's very creative. Well done. Okay, Sharifa, you're right. Okay. Creative. The word is creative. He has a creative imagination. Okay. Right. Things you don't take sweets from. Perhaps they to stop us getting out. Aha. Is that the way? So he's thinking. Running away from the lessons. Lesson? What does a lesson look like? <laughs> right. So he's, he's first day at school and he doesn't know what a lesson is. Can anybody suggest why this is spelled this way? Anybody can suggest why the spelling is this way? Why is this a strange spelling? Why is lesson spelled? It's not a wrong spelling here in the poem. It's just... Why do you think there's a strange spelling there? Anybody know? <laughs> I think it's the, 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 the student does say this word, lesson sounds sm small and slimy, it does, but what, why is it spelling that way? Anybody can uh, guess? Uh, well, well done, maybe he can't spell, but what else? Anybody know? Yeah, he cannot pronounce the word. Well, it's a bit... It, the, the, the hint is... Or, or the hint is about pronunciation, right? I think in where he comes from, right? Where he comes from, the word lesson, L-E-S-S-O-N, is pronounced in a particular way, Right? Um, maybe he comes from a part of uh, UK that pronounces the words that way. You know, a, a kind of a, an accent. They have an accent, right? Listen, right? I, I imagine this is a, maybe a certain part of UK. Maybe, I don't know whether it's uh, in Ireland or in Scotland where they pronounce the words like this, right? And the railings, all around the railings, right? So running away from the lessons. Listen. What does a lesson look like? So he doesn't know how to spell lesson because he doesn't know what a lesson is, right? So he spells it this way and pronounces it this way, right? Yes, accent. It's about accent, right? I don't think it's British though, right? Uh, uh, someone who's British who's, will speak. Oh, oh, uh, you mean as in uh, from Britain? Yes, maybe the, the United Kingdom. He's from United Kingdom, 
right? But not English though. Yeah, not English. What I meant is it's not English, right? Definitely not English. Maybe from another part of uh, United Kingdom, another part of England. It's not English. Definitely not, right? So, and then uh, he talks about the 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 classrooms. They keep them in classrooms. Okay, now is this how it's pronounced? What is this actually? He's not American, definitely. Scottish, Myra, maybe, right? Scottish. Listen, what does the listen look like? Sounds small and slimy. They keep them in glass rooms. Now, is this uh, a, a mispronunciation or did he mishear this? What do you think? Glass rooms. What is the actual word here? Where do they keep lessons in? Classrooms, yes, classrooms. Well done, Clara. So, classrooms, you're right. Okay. So, they keep them in classrooms, but I think he heard it as glass rooms. Whole rooms made out of glass. Imagine, well, it comes back to his, the, his creativity. Yeah? So, what does this tell us about small children? Are small children very creative? Yes, they are, right? They have a very creative imagination. Okay, let's move on to the last stanza. And then after this, we'll go on to the exercise where you have to do in a Google uh, form. Okay? Last stanza, shall we? Okay. I wish I could remember my name. We spoke about this already, right? We spoke about how he uh, is too young sometimes and so maybe he's so anxious he can't remember his name. Mummy said it would come in useful. Like wellies when there's puddles. Yellow wellies. I wish she was here, right? I think my name is sewn on somewhere. Perhaps the teacher will read it for me. Teacher, the one who makes the tea. Now, I want to focus on this last line. Right, so this last line, okay, can anybody tell me or uh, suggest to me he says the teacher is the one who makes the tea, number one. Is it because he doesn't know who a teacher is? Right? He doesn't know. And he's trying to guess. Or is it another reason? What is... Why does he uh, say the teacher is the one who makes the tea? Is it because he doesn't know? And he's guessing, right? Or is it for another reason? Yeah, the, the, there's, a, there's a part of the word teacher that says T, but Is he guessing or is it for another reason? Can anybody uh, suggest to me another reason why he could be saying the one who makes the tea? Yes, he's trying to make a... He's not trying to make a joke. <laughs> but I think he's trying to make a... A joke. Right? Trying to make a joke. Right? So, how is he making the joke? What is this? What do we call this? How do we make a joke? This is called what? Let's assume he's trying to make a joke. Now, how is he making a joke then? Using what? What technique is this? What kind of joke is this? It is a... It starts with letter P. Anybody know? Yes! Myra, very good. It's a pun. Okay, not sarcasm. It's a pun. Okay, what does a pun mean? It is a play on words. It's a play on words. Okay, that's what a pun is. Right? Right, so at the end of the poem, I guess he does learn a few things. He does learn what a... Uh, okay? Maybe what a teacher is. He does learn how to make a joke, maybe. Alright. Now, let's go on to the questions, shall we? Now, I want you to turn to your Google form. Right? I see there's one response here. Who's the person? Cheyenne has uh, responded. 
Okay. Use adjectives to describe the school. Now, I want you to look at this question carefully. Huh? Okay, let's everybody look at the questions. Pay careful attention to the way the speaker describes the school. Right? So that's the instruction. The first part is to for you to, to look at the poem carefully. How the speaker describes the school. Stanza 1 and stanza 2. Now, the, the question is, use adjectives to describe the school. Right? Now, is this a good answer? Is this a correct answer? Intimidated and innocent are they to keep up wolves and monsters. Now, is that what the question is asking for? What is the question asking for? Can anybody tell me? Use adjectives to describe the school. Right? So what is the question asking for? You're supposed to describe the school. What is uh, this answer? This answer is telling you the speaker's what? This answer is telling you the speaker's feelings, right? So it's not answering the question. Okay? So how? Look at Let's look at the poem, shall we? Right? Look at the first part of the poem. How does the speaker describe the school? We spoke about this. A million, million miles from home. Right? Why are they all so big? Other children, so noisy. So much at home, they must have been, been, in, must have been born in uniform. Spending years inventing games that don't end. So, so the first thing, what is the, how does the speaker describe the school? Yeah. How can we describe the school? Let's look at the evidence here. A million, billion, million miles from home. Okay, describe the school. How does the speaker describe the school? Wait. School's big? I think this one, yes, it shows that the school is quite big. And the railings all around the railings. Right? The school is far away, yes. Okay, school is far away from. Okay. Noisy, very good. Uh-huh. It's far away and very noisy. Okay, loud and noisy. Alright. Okay, so that's the first thing. So how do we know that's it's loud and noisy, okay? So noisy, right? Isn't it so noisy, okay? And very far away, okay? Very far away, very noisy. Okay, let's, that should be the first answer here, right? Okay, again, we go back to this. Uh, question and this is not helping right you you cannot say it's a prison we're asking for adjectives words that describe the school okay it's far away it's it's loud and noisy that's the first thing right what's the second thing let's look at the second stanza and the railings all around the railings yeah somebody said it's quite big right perhaps they're stopping us getting away from the lessons lesson what does the lesson look like and then filled with what is it where uh, what do you have in the school? You have glass rooms, right? So, what kind of school is this? How do you describe the school? So, my, so many railings means it's quite big, yeah? It's quite big, and then it's quite... Maybe the glass rooms, you can say that it's quite... Um, it's interesting, right? Or it's new, and, and uh, maybe fascinating, right, to him. Huh? The school is fascinating, right? Because he says, imagine, right? What does this tell you? This tells you that he is, he is fascinated, right? Or the school is quite 
fascinating. It's a fascinating place. It has glass rooms. It has lessons that has uh, small and slimy, right? Okay, so I want you to complete this by today, right? Let's move on to the next question. Okay, then we will end the lesson at 11.10. How do you think the speaker feels about being in school on the first day? Right? Is it afraid? Whole rooms, you know, glass now. I want you to please, okay, this Cheyenne and you run. Okay, don't be lazy, yeah? Right? Please write uh, proper sentences. Okay, if you're going to say afraid, please write it. He is afraid. Right? He is afraid because uh, the school is made of glass maybe you can say that right or i think the part about this the the the, the there are glass rooms is not the reason why he's afraid right if you look carefully the tone is different glass rooms all rooms made out of glass imagine he's more fascinated than he is afraid of this what is he afraid of okay if you look at the first part right then you'll see he's afraid of maybe the big children, right? Because they don't let him in. They play games that are really rough. Okay? So what I want you to do now is I want you to concentrate in the next 15 minutes. Okay? I'm going to go offline. Okay? And you are going to complete this Google form. Okay? I've given you the link in the daily instructions. Right? Okay? Please complete this Google form. And then uh, that's it for today. Right? So for those of you who have... Uh, Keep in your attendance, okay, meaning your full name and your index number, okay, well done. For those of you who haven't, please key in your full name and index number in the chat so that I know that you are, you have attended this lesson, okay. If not, you'll be marked as absent. So the next part of the lesson, in the next 10-15 minutes, you are given time to do this, okay. Please do it properly. I don't want one word answers, I want sentences, okay. Um, so I'll see you again soon. Okay, bye.